So when it comes to farming runes within Elden Ring, we all know the hill, the legendary hill within the Mogwin Dynasty area, the palace approach, ledge road, grace point. This hill is absolutely incredible for earning you those runes, especially if you have the right weapons. Now the clear winner in regards to weapons to farm in this hill is the relic sword, but this is required were actually obtained via you defeating the last boss in the Elden Beast and getting his remembrance. There's no other way in getting this weapon. So if you're a player newish to the game, you've just got to this area, you're nowhere near the last boss, well you're kind of stuck in regards to farming this hill efficiently. Well guys, in actual fact, there are other weapons in this game which will allow you to farm this hill not as efficient as the relic sword but almost as efficient, earning you runes faster than any other way in this game. And today guys we get into it all. How's it going people? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the Palace Approach, Ledge Road, Grace Point within the Mogwin Dynasty area, the legendary rune farm in the hill is by far the best rune farm in this game. And if you can farm it efficiently, there's no other method. The bird jumping off the maps, this and the other, nothing compares to this hill. Each one of these enemies on standard play, not into New Game Plus, will give you around 2,000 runes. Apply buffs to your runes in regards to the gold pickled foul foot as well as the gold scarab you can earn upwards of 3,500 per enemy and there's so many enemies on this hill guys you can earn literally with buffs applied over 60, 70, 80k every 15 to 20 seconds it really is that easy. So what other weapons are in this game which you can get more or less real early on? which don't require you to be at that end game, which don't require you to defeat the last boss, can you use to farm this hill? Well, today guys, I have for you four easy weapons to get, as well as a method if you are a mage. Okay, so firstly guys, the Mogwin Sacred Spear. This is a weapon you get for defeating Mogwin, the main boss of this area. Once you take him out guys, you get literally 400k runes. But you'll also get his remembrance, meaning you can go to the round table, cash in that remembrance and select the Mogwin Sacred Spear. This is super efficient guys in taking out ads on this hill, literally two or three right placements, use this weapon's skill and you'll take out every ad on this hill. Then guys just reset the ads at the grace, rinse and repeat. It is as simple as that. But I will say Mogwin can be a bit of a pain in the ass to defeat. But there are other means, the Blasphemous Blade. This is a weapon which you will get from the Rykard Remembrance. Rykard is a boss beneath Volcano Manor, seen here on the map. If you go to Volcano Manor, you will meet an NPC called Tanif. Complete her short quest line and you'll get an audience with Rykard. Take him out guys, you get his Remembrance. Go to the round table, cash that Remembrance in. Select the Blasphemous Blade and this weapon gets to work guys on this hill, it really does. But again, Rykard can be a bit of a pain in the ass, especially if you're a newer, lower leveled player. So what else can you do? Well guys, there is another weapon which you can get called Durin's Greatsword. Now this is a weapon rewarded to you by defeating the Misbegotten Warrior and the Crucible Knight at the Red Main Castle Plaza. Now these enemies ain't hard whatsoever, so if you go down to Red Main Castle, work your way through here, you'll come to this pairing which will help progress through this place. Take them out guys and you get the Ruven's Greatsword. This again guys is amazing for taking out the ads on this hill. Now what I will say is, obviously weapons will need to be leveled up, I won't say leveled up to a max, but one before would definitely be beneficial for you. The more powerful they are, the better this will work. Another great weapon which you can use is the Star Scourge Greatsword. This is a weapon which drops from Radan, who is a boss you will come across once you progress through Red Main Castle Plaza and you'll fight him in this area right here. 
Now, if you do take him out, you'll get his uh, remembrance. Take this to the round table, cash it in, guys, and select this weapon. It is an absolute beast on this hill. Makes easy work of the ads, and it will earn you millions of runes. Okay, so what about mages? What about you staff wielding sorcerers? What can you do? Well, guys, there's a way which I've found which I believe is great, and it requires one spell called the Meteorite of Estelle. Now, where you get this from, it's from the Yellow Annex Tunnel in the Consecrated Snowfield. This is within the hidden path to the Halig Tree area. This isn't exactly endgame, but it's almost there. And I know a lot of people will have gone through this place to get to the Mogwin Dynasty area because a lot of people will have messed up the original method and get in here early on, which is the white faced Vari quest line. So, yeah, work your way through this tunnel, guys. Take out the boss in Estelle, Stars of Darkness, and you're rewarded this amazing bit of sorcery. Now, if you want to add a little extra damage to it, guys, get the Terra Magica. This requires completion of the Academy Crystal Cave dungeon, seen right here on the map. Pretty straightforward people, but hey if you do need help, I'll link a video in the video description. But yeah guys, those are all easy ways in which you can farm this hill. And it will save you a lot of time and be way more efficient if you're stuck here farming the bird over and over. Or if you are just jumping off the map. These methods are way, way better. Two other things that will assist you if you are a mage. One especially, the Cerulean Hidden Tier. This eliminates all FP consumption. For about 8 to 10 seconds, this helps a lot here, but you can also grab the Magic Shrouding Crack Tier 2, which temporarily boosts magic attacks. Now guys, to these, you'll find anywhere on YouTube, but I'll link my two in the video description if you don't have these already. And there we have it guys, another Elden Ring rune farming video, and I hope it helped you out. If you did leave a like, it really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more Elden Ring, be sure to subscribe, and hopefully it might be beautiful people. I will see you on that next. One.